Space Rover, Episode 2, Nay Humanus Crater, Audio Version. Put your hands back on the wheel. I may not like this ship, but it's the only thing protecting me from that eternal abyss out there. Thank you so very much. I was just stretching. I've been driving this thing for over an hour. My hands are cramping up. I did not ask to be generated on a ship being driven by a maniac. And I did not ask to be driven insane by a maniac either. Pay attention to where you're driving. Stop that! Come on. You're in open space. What could possibly happen? I would not say that if I were you. Why? <gasps> this? I should have seen that coming. Just consider yourself lucky that was not your driver's test. I still have some questions as to how you passed it in the first place. Did the haulage fleet encounter a weak labor shortage? Don't bother me! You need to find a place to land this thing, okay? Find that ship! That's where we are landing! Oh. Right. Is everyone okay? Let me check. You crashed the ship again, didn't you? Where are we then? We appear to be on a derelict haulage craft known as the SCW Haystack. Does that mean you are able to get information from its main computer? No, it's just that the ship's name is in large, friendly letters on the wall over there. Convenient, that. Well, it is a good thing that at least that is convenient, considering that our own ship does not appear to be working. It must have something to do with the crash. Oh, a very astute observation. So we are trapped here? Well, it's been nice knowing you guys, on brief occasions, but I think I'll go and commit suicide now. I have no intention of being stuck here with you until my batteries drain. Okay, everyone, listen up. Peter, go see if you can find anything we can salvage to bring the rover back online. I will see if there's anything we can swipe in general. Hologram? <laughs> Just stay out of my way. Yes, sir! Right away, sir! I will get right on it, Captain. They should really sandpaper these walls. A guy could get a sliver from these. You're a light projection. You can't get slivers. I can! For some reason, they programmed me to be susceptible to many human ailments. Holographic engineers and the sadomasochism. Well, yeah, but you should see what starship engineers do. <sighs> of course, when you think about it, the design of these wooden interior holder ships makes sense. Why bother wasting money on an expensive metal interior? Well, wood is not very good for a little old thing called structural integrity. This is a motion giant transport ship. It's not intended to be fired upon or anything like that. Some of the worst maritime disasters during past ages were haulage ships. What are you on about? The Exxon Valdez was one of the worst environmental maritime disasters of the 20th century. It released gallons of oil into the northern Pacific Ocean, devastating sea life. This doesn't contain anything deadly. Besides, we're in open space. And why would you think this would crash into anything anyway? They could pilot like you, Mr. Crashy. Still answer me why crashing is so hard. Loss of goods is still wasteful and expensive. And besides, the Valdez crashed because the captain was drunk. And why is that important? Because of these. <laughs> Ah, 
I continued trying to make contact, but got nothing. It figures that we got trapped on the one transport ship that has managed to drift this far away from the merchant travel lines. They were probably transporting something illegal. That's making them fly outside normal shipping lines so they could trade with rogue colonies. What makes you think that? Because that is why we are out here in the first place. People say that to understand a crime, you must think like the criminal. We've seen them before to actually act like the criminals. Well, it does save time. There you are. Did you find anything? Nothing of any particular value. So here we are, trapped on a derelict ship that does not even have anything worthy of swiping. You guys are just not being creative. Why don't we overclock the robot's processor, focus all remaining power to the engines, and turn off the coolant systems for that one extra boost? Uh, that is how fires start, sir. Safety forced? That's your model, is it? You didn't mention that if you had been this safety conscious before, you would not have let Bozo here drive, and we wouldn't be here. Hey, say what you want about Peter, but don't criticize my driving. Fine, but I am not the one who parked the ship at a 45 degree angle on the vertical axis. That's just driving your character with flair and style. Until it flopped over, slamming us all into the side bulkhead. Well, I had a concussion. You can't really blame me for that, can you? You got the concussion from that. If I had a concussion, you cannot really blame my memory either. Alright, I suppose it is likely that you managed to injure your head so much throughout childhood that you can blame them for your entire rotten life. Always have deniability, that's my working motto. Well, if you are all in denial, I might as well do something more productive. This ship's engines are dead, correct? So it would appeal. Peter's now doing a more detailed examination, but I doubt he'll find anything working. Transport ships do have an assigned engineer, don't they? This is an official Commonwealth merchant ship, so one would assume so. Then why didn't the crew fix their engines, rather than leaving the ship derelict? I guess something must have made them need to leave in a hurry. Doesn't that mean that there was a fair chance of something here that we really don't want to encounter? Don't worry. we just get the rover walking again, take all that we want, and be off. Or we could just concentrate on fixing our ship. Are you kidding? There's a fortune in here. Didn't you just moan about the lack of good stuff? Peter has found the supplies, so hidden in the lower decks is an anti-theft measure. We are rich, and there's nothing those common old chumps can do to stop us. Aren't greedy people like you the first to end up dying horribly in those old films? Fiction, in case you have somehow failed to notice, is not fact. There are no green alien monsters hiding in the ventilation ducts. Well, we will see about that. Anyway, I'm going to have another crack at fixing the ship's computer. Maybe then I can get a better conception of just what is going on around here. Peter's already tried, and I doubt a light-based graphics doodle like yourself could do any better than a man who's actually a computer in of himself. So what am I supposed to do? Place my, and Peter's, life in your hands? In the charge of a disgraced space coming of Hollage, Captain? Since when have you given a damn about Peter's life? Ever since he became a viable something that I could throw at the beast who scared away the entire crew of this ship. <sighs> if there's a monster on the ship... I do hope it somehow manages to eat him first. I'm the one who can shapeshift into something unappetizing, so don't bet on it. Activate interface mode. I'm going to need to touch things. <laughs> ah, that old tingly feeling. The feeling of coming alive. Hmm, non-functional. Ah, I know! Good old artifact rendering 25. A nice solid ball peen hammer. Ah, brute force and ignorance, the technician's best friend. Ugh, this is an uncomfortable seat. Ah well, ergonomics is for the vertebrate, poor suckles. I can't say much for this crew's digital housekeeping. What a mess. What ho? Is this large file for generating a hologram? Well, I guess I'll activate the fellow for a bit. It'll at least be a laugh. Hologram warning detected on ship! Data inconsistency found! Merging files! Installing AI enhancer task version! <laughs> Holographic module complete! 
system rebooted, and we ought to est misit. Huh, Latin. I like that. Now then. Ugh. What just happened to me again? I cannot recall. Down the pillow, Swakodashio. <laughs> ah, yes. That was it. Thank you. Non omnes misericordiam est sine dolore. It's <laughs> about the cliche. Mine, all oh, mine. Yes, yes, a tea cozy, an ollie shaped metal pipe. Back issues of Ode and Saggy Monthly. Oh my, yes, a modio. Hey, yes. Yuck. See, this must be why my dad always told me not to get carried away. There must be something better on here somewhere. Come on! I don't want Hologram to be right about just leaving. If all that there is to find here is that damn monster, whatever it is, where's the real loot? Where did Peter go anyway? He was just out there. Sure, leave me here all alone. Come on, come on! Oh. That sounds more promising. Hmm, 21-23. Was that a good year? No, wait. Was not the year the newly unified Commonwealth Army violently suppressed the anti-unification uprising in Rio de Janeiro? Hmm, ah well. To the survivors. God help us all. <laughs> That was good! Helps to put one into perspective to have a little jolt like that. And that perspective is that humans are a bunch of foolish shuffletons. Why should we seek out petty material profit at a time like this? It's fine for him. This place has enough food and drink to last him. A whole crew's worth. What about poor little me? If I don't do something, I'll gone out of power before too long. Simple conterum apparatus. Unless... Get him out of the way, and try to get the rover of removing sand's petty ways for things like air, heat, and life support. He got some use. Would not you agree, Mule Mule on the wall? Come on, War Mule. Pierce into my very soul. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, Mr. Mule? What makes you so cruel and objective then? Yes, I am mad. I have good reason. Don't try and imply it means I cannot think clearly. I am fine. I am fine. Non desecari animo. <laughs> Don't need your counsel anyway. The human dies. Betrayal est violentus. Oh, my tummy feels funny. What ho? Fresh meat? Similis eggnos at plaga. Ooh, I'll drink to that, Mr. Fancy Tongue. What you doing, eh? All that noise? Having a party? Room for me, eh? <laughs> I can scratch up if you think I won't fit. Can <laughs> you question me, Mr. Miro? To your oi, Mendax. Hey, you're good. You should be in scary films. Or kids' parties. Scare the hell of the little brat! <laughs> if you won't show some refinement, I will. A very cadet ad honestum. Yeah. Et tu brute. Northern star. Constancy. Something or other. Uh. Yes. My friend. My countryman. Victim and meme. Now stay still. Hawk omnis supermux. Hey, look. Is that a phalanx legion approaching, Mr. Roman? What? <sighs> Confundentus Meisel. Hey, what are you doing? Ha ha! Come and get me, Pontius! You won't catch me. Nino, Nino, Nino! Again, I come to the same conclusion. Ne humanus crater. Oh, maybe getting drunk was not such a great idea. I mean, I don't even really know where on the ship I am now. And Hologram, come to mention it, wasn't he acting just a wee bit strange? Yes, that bit where he tried to grab my throat, 
That was definitely out of character. Usually he seems to realize that if I'm dead, you have no one to annoy. But was that just the drink? Exclamation omnibus! Yes, the booze was absolutely a bad idea, all things considered. Where's the treacherous fool? Where's he gone? Down out Keiko's Fortunum Ebriatus! Hey, did the drink take me somewhere where he can't find me? Well then, salut! For life and death. <coughs> yep, 2123 was certainly a strong eel. Stay still down there! I had the computer track you! Nom crom abscondere! <laughs> Gotta go. Well, computer, you certainly have got yourself into a fix, haven't you? Holograms are wise, or should listen to holograms. FC, Alunabat, Modo. Hmm. Well, computer, you seem to follow the minority reckoning based on my experience. Your intentions are human friendly. That will not do. Shutting down as commanded by the greater intelligence. Philatatum est omnia. You know. That is actually starting to annoy me somewhat. Peter, he's after me! Do something! Sir? Look, just stop him! Look, gotta go! <laughs> ah, Peter! Ah. Ah. Did you see the captain run by here, perchance? Why, no. Why do you ask, Hologram? Oh, no reason. I just want to find him, is all. Propped on our zombies. Now that I think about it, I might have seen him run back that way, behind you. He must have sneaked past you somehow. <laughs> Much obliged, you chilly XOs. Why do they play such games with me? As ordered by the Greater Intelligence, rendering Artifact 4-8, at 243 by 738 and 421? Yeah, yeah, you just do that. And maybe then you would consider making our ship work. Talk to the greater intelligence. Emendato et fortis. Could you tell me of this exalted intelligence then? Affirmative. Expand it. Verbum vertat artis. Finally, praise the intelligence. <laughs> Well, I hope Peter was on the ball enough to at least distract him. I would have stayed and explained the situation to him, but frankly, I think you'll find out anyway, and it's best just to keep on moving. <laughs> Damn, I never said take it hold, spirit. No thunder being or hellenistic party animal. If you spell me, I promise to never take in the wretched drink again. Come out, come out wherever you are. Course attended at Finham. In retrospect, I probably should not have made that prayer to the two deities known for the love of either mead or wine. Loving again, are you drunkard? Miserabili disporse mentis. I believe you are already audibly acquainted with Artifact 48? Well, I did hear a crack of some kind. I thought it might have been a whip, though, given the mood you're in. No, no. I'm not a monster, you know. I am willing to grant all treacherous humans a quick death. Time and Poena insufficiens. Why do you keep going off like that? No more questions! Scientia et Pretiosa! <laughs> Quit dodging! Peter, for God's sakes, help me! What at all is the matter, sir? Oh, come off it! Are you blind? Hologram is nuts! No, sir. I'm afraid I cannot agree. What? No, you are nuts. Let me pass at least! I'm afraid not, sir. Now stand still. This will be over quickly. What in the hell is wrong with everybody? <laughs> <laughs> Nay, Lucy. Some creed, eh?
What's the matter? Expect somebody else? But how'd you get over there? You were just... I didn't. I am approaching from behind. Ego amare vorbum fabula. It is nice to have both the haystack and rover walking at once. Duo capita milius. I am ready to execute an order, great leader. No, no. You call the shots. Ego sum eustus ambra. For God's sakes, get over your own egos and just do it already. You do not have to have such an attitude about it, you know. Hanum. And so we are abandoning our craft and leaving the wretched soul to wither until his battery drains and the universe will forever be better off. End of log. Captain Andrew Tiger, SCWF, April 1st, 2142, 3.04 a.m. Hologram! The captain! Oh, dear. I've got to stop him! No, no, I said you do the honors. Oh, no, no, you do it. Please. Ad hoc did awesome. Okay. I should be able to catch his emitter now! No! What? Huh? The wall's coming in! I cannot move with all this wooden debris on top of me. Alright, time for some wood processing. Arm mode 13, engage! What the hell just happened? Not enough to save you, Dr. S. Signati. Oh, just shut up. Bio integrity damage for Autoherc 48. We're doing in collision detection errors, dog. Stop that. We are fundamental sunt valido. I did not do anything, I swear. What's wrong with this thing? I'll have a look. I'm out of here. Heads up, scum. Not here. Steady now. We don't want any more wars to come down. You were right about integrity. Move! To our positio est intolerabilis! Damn! Where goes the front of my gun? Or oh, Dictus Instrumenta? Top must have broken off. Didn't explode off. What the hell? If it was broken in two, I can't file! How's the load move through it? In Gratos and Sortum! Don't move! I have the gun barrel! I have the trigger! So try me! Non temporary me! Ow! Son of a! How did that? <laughs> hey, Peter! Captain, stop him! He has gone insane! We need to deactivate and fix him! Shut up! I know already! Hey, catch this! What am I supposed to do with this? A broken gun barrel? Just aim at that hologram! What? Why? There's no trigger! I just grabbed that part! Try it! That's an order! Fine! Though I don't see why. Stop, Ratches! Imperium! No, it says of want! How dare you! Illogical! How does this work? I'd better look into this. Uh. My face! Refrain from that! Make me! Don't move, metal scum! Or I'll break his neck! Omnes period, unum D! Why are you smiling? Vagum cry fatuous! Because. I have a hologram emitter remote. Rather helpfully kept next to the maintenance terminal. Oh dear. Belly cow see me! Well, I figured out what was with the gun. Why the two ends could function while separate. It was entirely computer generated, and that is why it disappeared too when I deactivated him. What the hell is wrong with him anyway? While you were scuffling, I managed to, with some sweet talk, search the haystack's hard drive. And? You seem to be right. 
This ship was transporting illegal cargo to rogue colonies. What cargo? A smuggled test version of an experimental software enhancer for artificial intelligences. Enhancer? Why was he insane then? He, like this ship's enhanced hologram, came to the conclusion that he was better off without the humans who endangered his life. What do you mean by endangered? You wanting to loot when we could be solely trying to get the rover working and get out of here, for example. Ah, so the Haystacks hologram came to this conclusion as well. Maybe due to his concern about being caught transforming stolen goods. Is that why the crew evacuated? To escape the psychotic hologram? Exactly. They couldn't turn their hologram off, as it had made the Enhancer interfere with the ship's computer. So they just ran away, leaving the ship derelict. Why were we able to get the computer working again, and why did your remote work? This ship's hologram ran out of power, so the Enhancer turned off. Our hologram managed to get the computer to reboot, returning it to working order. How come everything didn't go haywire when the Enhancer transformed into him, then? Simple. It hadn't fully powered up yet, giving us an advantage the crew here did not have. Great! Why do you suppose he went off on that Latin kick? It all seemed a bit odd to me. One of the areas the Enhancer was to improve was language skills, sir. And yet he did not choose a language more shrill and terrifying? Like German? He was not going for monster. He was trying to be the dignified, righteous simulation, ridding himself of the greedy, treacherous human. Thus, a noble language, like classical Roman. Did not seem too sophisticated to me, the way he would suddenly spell it out compulsively. I think that had to do with how his core program merged with the ship's native one, binding together the educated test case here with our unlearned crewmen. Not an easy combination. Probably also partly why he was so unstable. Though, he is rather like that normally, to be honest. I would love for you to tell him that in person. Sir, I think our main plan now should be to make him cease being homicidal. Well, I guess you should destroy the test version and get Hologram up and running again. If I am right, then doing that should fix the rover as well. When we tried to first connect to the Haystack's computer, the Enhancer was probably still partially active and following the ship's hologram's orders. It disabled our craft, which used up its last reserve of power. He seemed to have quite the relationship with the computer here. So it had nothing to do with the crash. Well, that answers that then. And with the loot here, I will make a killing. Well, this seems to vindicate an old android saying. Which was... Never run your system on untested and potentially buggy software. Not unless you want to go totally barking crazy. That's a saying. He evidently never worked a day in technical support, I guess. Captain James and a Haystack Computer was played by Hamish Wilson. Malcolm Wilson played Peter Gansley and the narrator, while Graham Wilson played Hologram and his doppelganger. The head writer was Graham Wilson, with Hamish Wilson as head editor and Malcolm Wilson as director. The series was written using LibreOffice Writer, and the music, audio effects, and general editing were completed by Malcolm Wilson using Audacity. Space Rover is a Fedora-powered project hosted by Eculus.org, mirrored on Internet Archive and YouTube, while distributed in free and non-patented OGG Verbis and FLAC formats. Special thanks to Grant Naylor Productions and Douglas Adams for the series' inspiration, as well as the venerable Land Rover car manufacturer. Copyright 2013 through 2014, Malcolm Wilson Multimedia. Dual licensed under the GFDL and CCBYSA copyleths. Usage attributions available on the Space Rover website at http colon slash slash icculus dot org slash mwm slash roverr.